screw it. Little coals all over the place look good. I even put some on the console that some little coals kind of jumped on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Iron blades are fine. They'll just maybe we'll cut one of them up in the when we start doing our detail pass on everything and start adding cuts and bruises and maybe a couple bullet holes in the front. Maybe one here. This this part's not mirrored, and then the outsides are actually mirrored. Okay, we're working on the arm last. Then we add a little bit of a bolt or something over here. And I get mirrored to the bottom so we won't do the bottom part. Just this one here. I messed that up. I can do better circles than that. Uh, these parts are basically going to be more pro. Uh, well, that's going to be bronze. Uh, those little guys, I don't think I went to do a lot of stuff with these dudes. I think the bottom one is the one that we're using, the top one is mirrored. So we only have to detail this bottom dude. You hide everything else. So I oh god. There we go. Need to rotate around. Maybe create a little bit of a crease here where the. This pipe goes in. Okay. And let's see, what do we do here? Oh, not a lot of polygons there. Don't mess with that. That was just for show, the top one. This part I think is hidden for the most part. Yeah, we can't do shit on that. Some functional details here and there. Ah, we don't need one on that side. That's fine. The handle. Handle needs nothing. Handle's fine. This is gonna get mirrored across later, so we wouldn't need to touch that neither. Uh, this center bar we already smoothened out yesterday. Thanks, science. And this thing, let's smooth this thing out. It, the left side is actually mirrored, so we're not gonna touch the left side. We're just gonna exit out. We'll say no. Play ahead is get away. I missed that follow, but welcome. Thank you for joining us. Put this guy's out. And we gotta do a giveaway soon. Been been a few weeks.
Okay, uh, what do we do with the top? Nothing. This is all gonna be color. We'll worry about it without the texture. It's actually even smaller too in the UVs. Um, I remember leaving that space kind of smaller since we didn't want to do a lot of detail there. Anyways, there's gonna be more kind of color. Creating the, the back. Oh, pipes and whatnot. Uh, let's see, I think this guy could use a little, some little bolts, some functional stuff. Little details. Just in here. Just a lot of panels on this dude. What else we got? Can make a little bit. Oh, we don't have polygons for that. Maybe we'll subdivide one more time. Oh no, that would actually hold it. Put this guy this way. Make a little panel here. Emphasize that in Photoshop. I know it's super low poly, but whatever. Be yeah, okay. Be a guide. We have uh, this part of the stovepipe up top, so we're definitely gonna smooth this guy out a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if this particular section of the this little pipe is UV mirrored. I know the big one is, but I don't. I remember that we mirrored the small one as well, so I'm gonna check real quick in uh, Subtimage. Where is where we have our low poly version of this? That's gonna go into the game. Try finish smoothing this out a little bit. Take a look. Where are you? Oh no, it's the whole thing's unique. Okay. Good to know. Or abyss. Sculpt a little bit of a wrinkle here. Get a little cartoony. This whole thing could benefit from another subdivision. I think I'm gonna do one. Being kind of annoying working at this size. Uh, I think the bottom guy is mirrored, so we're not gonna worry about that bottom guy. Go ahead and exit out. Oh crap, yeah, see, not enough polygons. So this guy looks okay. Let's smooth out this. This is one of the standing legs for the cover of the exhaust. And it's pretty square, so we're just gonna bevel the edges. A little bit smoother. A bit larger. And that should do it.
that that subdivision we're talking about. I think I want to work out on this wrinkle a little bit more. A little bit of sculpting. They're cleaning so much on this goddamn auto. Uh, sculpting actually feels good. Wait, turn off symmetry for this part. Perfect time to save photo or see brush. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Abyss, what did you do? <laughs> Your half brother is technically Canadian Mexican, so you're not the only one. Hey, look at that! Unless you're actually my half brother. <laughs> Space poker. Idiots.
Okay. See it with everything over here. Gonna need some work. See if we can make this part look welded. I just totally picture that scene that you guys are talking about. Playing poker with a poodle with six mouths. Alien dogs. Space poker. Uh, let's see, how do I make this little cartoony too? Three butts? This is South Park? I think this line will probably continue over here somewhere. There's a line on that. Right here. Right in the middle. And I guess in there somewhere. I think this is the last bit that, well, out of the body, I guess, that we haven't really cleaned up. I think everything else kind of cleaned up. We even threw a little bit of detail in some sections. But yeah, I think this the stove is the last part. Oh my god, is it really? I think it is. Put 
polygon. Alright, let's jump on this thing. I haven't even touched it. Whew. No wonder it looks so low poly. And this one is actually mirrored across the half section somewhere. And I gotta figure out which one in a second here. Get this big ones out of the way. Guess up here. Hmm. Probably just move all this stuff out. So definitely unique up here. Okay, now we have a little bit of volume back in. Smooth out some of these edges, the sides. Not as harsh. Alright, uh, now the front to back. Which one do we keep for this thing? Let's find out. I'm gonna save our file before we do that. Maya is paid for? Yeah, all the other stuff is paid for unless you have a student ID or a student email and then you can get the programs, uh, the learning edition of the programs for free. Right off the website. Recommend any program for beginners, maybe some free or at least cheaper ones. So yeah, we just mentioned any Autodesk ones if you have a student email. If not, you can check out Blender and that's uh, completely free. You don't need anything, uh, you need a student email or anything like that. It's not as advanced as the other programs, but if you can get the other programs, Blender's a good choice.
The tubes will be hard on the polys. Yeah, I mean, if you go for really smooth tubes, uh, it's gonna be a lot of sides. So that's why we uh, ours is kind of square, but we're kind of pushing that square look onto them, even on the high poly. So it should bake out pretty good. And we have a lot of square stuff, you know, the rest of the mesh, so it, it still goes with the with the style. If anything, maybe this thing needs to be a little bit squarish. Some faceted sections of it. Kind of like that. That's incredible, Abyss. Good find. <laughs> you know, when he gets BKB, he's just flashed like crazy colors, like if he was getting a star. That'd be pretty funny. Alright, so I think it's the inside that we mirrored. Let's find that real quick here. Yeah, inside, but not the wrinkle. Got it. Work on that. So all these parts, we're gonna say no Ben. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay. I don't really care about the insides. They're gonna be pretty dark. wrinkle a little bit.
Got some wrinkles here, some sharpness, some inking. The Zeus remodel. I actually like it a lot better than the old one. Even though I guess we haven't seen the Arcana yet. But I like that he's larger and he's, I guess, not as dwarf like. And I like that he's more built like a, like Zeus is supposed to be. You know, he's a god. God of gods. You know, this tiny little dude. Doesn't make any sense.
What the head, Melon Gijana? <laughs> what? What are you trying to do, Daspa? Is the edge of that gonna be going to be brown and colored by suit? Uh, yes, absolutely. Is Manny muted? No, <laughs> I was just, I guess, concentrating. I got a little quiet. Sorry. It was in the zone. Working really fast and just kind of turned my mind off and just started adding detail, muscle memory, and just fucking went went blind there for a bit. It's gonna be all dark in there anyways. Fine, it's fine. All control left a half a mask? What the hell? So my lips moving, nothing coming out. Oh. Maybe. everywhere oh my god
A little bit of a flattening here on the inside. Have you noticed much? That isn't easy. Hey, Death Strider, what's up, man? Thank you for following us. External hell bolts uh, never have a slot in them. Uh, what if I told you? Uh, because, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's a different tool that is used to turn them. But this uh, super cartoony stuff is gonna read really well from a distance. And really it's hexagonal because we can't afford a lot of polygons for that section. But it's alright, man, it's alright. Fine. Make trick with the pen. Oh yeah, stretches my fingers out. Uh, they get really tense while I'm sculpting for hours on end, so this kind of stretches them out and relaxes them. A little trick. And helpful too. Add some bolts here. Something harsher. Maybe too harsh. Uh, a little bit softer on the edge. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What about... God damn it. That's the one. Uh, I have to exaggerate a little bit the size of these guys. Because this shoulder piece is actually only 256 by 256. These guys need to be exaggerated in size so they don't become just pixels.
see if this works. Oops. The grid's helping me uh, place this guy to a good spot. Very nice. Oops. Too big, too big, too big. There you go. Two more, two more. Too big. There we go. And the last one. Cool. It was a trick, you seen the pen move around your fingers? <laughs> yeah. Relax my fingers. Did you not copy those things instead of doing this several times? Um, I could set symmetry for them and have them set up, but then th that piece would have to be at zero, 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 or have the same geometry all the way around, and the geometry is not the- oh god, what the hell. Uh, the geometry is not the same all the way around, so it'd, the symmetry would have a pain in the butt trying to get that to copy all the way through. So some things would have to be set in place for me to do that. And this was, I mean, that was easy enough and it's perfect, so... I need to do the other complicated setup just to get them all rounded out. I would have to separate this cylinder or the... Yeah, the, the, the top cap of this like cylinder thing as its own mesh. And then set the symmetry with two polygons and then it could do it all in one shot. But, I mean, that probably takes just as long, right? And then I have to join it back together for the bake out and... Pff, I, uh, this was easier. Yeah, I like to make my bolts by hand as well. Look more real. More different from all the other ones too. Okay, let's see, where are we on this? Maybe add a little bit of volume up here on these top of these guys. Maybe so they're not as flat. Whoops, we're still in the run. Go freehand. We still have a brush on, whoops. smooth a little bit of done little tears on the mesh uh, where man <laughs> I 
Oh, down here? Yeah, the green screen's kinda glitching out. Sorry. Whoops. And not a lot of light hitting it. There you go. Was that it? That you were talking about? Thank you. Save our work. Alright, this is actually going to be reading pretty good from a distance. Gotta figure out what to do with that 4M too. Need some sort of bolts at some point. Uh, how much density do I have in this mesh? Not a lot. And I don't think we can go this small. And then this guy would actually repeat all the way through down here. It's gonna be too much, I think. Ah. Maybe, maybe too much. Maybe just two per. Yeah, I think two will work. But I'm gonna subdivide this first. There we go. And we'll be able to do all the sharp stuff and scratches and everything everywhere else. Yeah, pretty good. See if we can finesse uh, these bolts up here. <clears throat> Look a little bit more indented. Oops. Ah. I had everything else so I can rotate here faster. JK Shaw. 11. Welcome to Lab Workshop, dude. I very nearly destroyed your name. 
Tradition. Oh man. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. That one looks a lot sharper and nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not a stupid question. I do color it. We call it texturing. Uh, but but we do that we do that after we bake all this high poly information into our low poly model here in game. And once we bake all that high poly stuff, normal maps, ambient occlusion, cavity maps, all that good stuff, uh, I use those as a starting point to start coloring and texturing our model for in game. And then after that, it's materials to make some of them reflective, you know, depending on what the surface is. And self-illumination, rim light, all that stuff. Those are the materials uh, way after. A lot of different stages. You like watching texturing? Uh, we're texturing last week on our Clinks model, which we need to get back to actually. Finish up. Oh, that's right, this guy's off. Uh, it doesn't matter, this guy's, uh, this guy's mirrored, so ignore that the... These little bits are not appearing over there. It's okay. I like to run this brush over top of our manually created bolts. Make them look a little bit more indented. Create a little bit of a uh, shadow there when we bake as well. They look pretty good. We are missing a bolt there in the left side, top, middle, because the handlebar goes over there. Whatever the handlebar is for. I don't know. It looks good. Opens up the panel maybe to the controls. The wirings of this forearm, which connects the weapon. And left side is mirrored, so it's got excess on it. In case any of the new people that join are wondering why it's got excess all over the place. Of course, are mirrored. We don't need to spend time sculpting them. Oh, you were watching that last week. All right, cool. Let's take a look at this console, huh? Oh, that's kind of plain. I 
actually have no idea what to do with the console at this point. I feel like I'd be descending something kind of crappy without having something in my mind already, so we're gonna wait on the console. Uh, what we can do though is maybe add a little cut on it. Some seam lines perhaps. Uh, we'll keep the wireframe on so we can see where I want the seam line to go. Keep it along here. And I think I'll have it run across the top as well. Where it joins with this other section. framework now. It's starting point. And I'm gonna round out this console parts so they look more a little bit more manufactured, not just uh, a cut in them. Push that a little bit. A nice little shadow for us there. Maybe. simple, but it adds a little bit, you know? Right, let's take a look at these guys next. A little too much there, whoops. It's a little bit more dense, smaller. His edges are closer together. Oh, she. Little bevel there. Now we can polish some of this stuff. Nice and flat. More professional looking. Not as sloppy. And at the same time I'm gonna rend off the inside a little bit more. So then when we make the inside a complete circle uh, that really hexagonal shape on the outside starts merging into uh, more of the circle on the inside and it's not as noticeable that it went from complete hexagonal to a perfect circle. A little bit of a midpoint there. A bit of a cheat here. A little bit like that. Yeah, nope. Hello Dylan, what are we making? We are working on a set for Dota 2. We're, in particular, we're working on the console section right now, a couple of dials. But uh, we're making this guy right here. He's a uh, Timbersaw is his name. 
jumps down trees and enemies in the game. Screws? Yeah, that's not a screw, that's a dial. It's gonna be a little, I don't know, some display for a gauge or something. I don't know. Let's get back in there. Let's see, let's do... Do a mask. A uh, circle mask, maybe. Look at the center point. Will help us out. Whoops. Oh, really? Come on, man, how do you go from the center? Is there really no way? You piece of sh... There's gotta be a way. I don't know, it's... Alright, I'm gonna guess. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> you know what? Screw this masking shit. We're gonna do it an easier way. Uh, let's use our standard brush. We're gonna put a mask on this. It's gonna look something like this. We're gonna turn up the C sensitivity. I'm gonna use the drag select, and we'll push it out from the middle. And maybe this is a little too soft. Yeah, it's still too soft. Try different. Alphas, till we get something we know it's gonna work. Maybe we can make this guy push in instead. Oh crap. That look better. I don't know. Watch me rain. Oh, that's too much. I think that's still too soft. Ah, come on, man. Something that's just a little bit. Crazy about that. Holy strong. <laughs> this one might actually work if we turn it down about halfway. No, no, no. The edge is not, not precisely what I'm looking for. Being really picky. That's the one. That's the one we want it. And that roundness to come out like the rest of the model. Yeah. He's screwing around with some bolts. Wow, this. Guy from Skylanders. I'm not familiar with a lot of the characters of Skylanders. But it's possible. Wait, is he orange? I might know the dude you're talking about. Is it like orange armor on that Skylanders dude? He is orange, ha! Huh, I have seen him. I've never played the game, but uh, I mean, it's popular enough that I've seen it around.
Alright, that's pretty good. Don't tell me that I need saving Finally awake and living Four in the morning? Holy shit. Alright, Abyss. Hopefully you almost finished your your portfolio over there. And uh, have a good night, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Manny, you're so picky! I know, I know, I know. But it's a good thing. Good to be picky. It's worked out for me so far. I sure they're not buttons? Uh, well, this is all gonna get rendered down into a flat section, remember? So that's just gonna be the normal map, kind of pulling it up a little bit. Uh, and not a hell of a lot, because it does go down into a complete flatness. You can see right here. I mean, oh, actually, we could pull these guys up a little bit. Just a little like that. And with these guys. And then we'll put a little dial in there. But it won't be quite as, you know, as, as high as that. That's just gonna bake out the outsides really nicely and have a little bit of a bevel into the texture on the normal map. What game is this for? This is for Dota 2. Valve Software is Dota 2. Okay, we got we got a lot done today, you guys. Let's put the span away. Tiny here will hold it for us. Uh, I think we finished smoothing out everything on the mesh except the weapons. And there's one item that we brought in here, which is the re reactive armor, which goes over top. It's this piece right here that then gets uh, duplicated in game when you get more damage done, and it closes up to uh, take uh, more resistance. So yeah, this piece we still need to bring in, but everything else we have in ZBrush, we have smoothed out except the weapons, the claw and the chainsaw. Uh, but yeah, like the whole body and arms and back and his headpiece, I think are all smoothed out and we even added a bit of detail to a lot of it. Or throughout the whole model. And then uh, I guess the next step for those particular items is to go through and start adding the, the damage slashes and bullet holes and and whatnots, but I guess the first pass is done on it, which is really, really good. We can just add the damage and we'll be good. Then we have to do the same process for the weapons and the re reactive armor. And this C brush will be done. We'll be able to bake this stuff out and then start texturing it. And it's gonna look pretty dope by the time we get to that spot because you see all the colors kick in, the balancing light that we put in here, the self illumination from the hot coals lighting up all the insides. He's gonna be very, very visible in, in game and very unique from anything else that has been done for Timber Cell so far. So that's really exciting. Can't wait to get to that. We'll do a little bit, we'll do another show tomorrow, guys. We'll continue working on the seabrush for this. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow we can finish the seabrush. We are really far ahead already. Uh, so make sure you guys throw us a follow here on Twitch. Uh, join our Steam group if you are on your PC and you will get a notification on your Steam when we go live. And follow our Facebook page. And if you want to see past broadcasts, you can sub or you can go to liveworkshop.com. And I will be signing out now. I'm going to go uh, relax. Maybe go have some sushi with the girl. 
And you guys have a good Saturday night. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.